हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 89 फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जीएस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मेनली वर्क ऑन द रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट पार्ट इन आवर प्रोडक्ट डिटेल पेज वी हैव वी आर शोइंग द प्रोडक्ट्स बट दिस इज शोइंग वन ओनली वन प्रोडक्ट एट अ टाइम बट माय मेन रीजन क्रिएटिंग दिस रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट सेक्शन इज टू शो फोर प्रोडक्ट्स एट अ टाइम एंड देन वी कैन स्क्रॉल दैट राइट so we will use the owl browser for this so here you can see react js owl browser right so we will use the owl browser and if you see the owl browser this kind of thing we want to show let's see uh, demos responsive and here you can see that so i want to show like this okay so let's show this kind of thing with the help of a react owl browser right and then uh, we will show this product this kind of uh, display right so let's start to do this okay so first of all we need to install this package so we need to install npm and then we can say npm install react owl browser right so here we will run the command and then it will install the package i have already installed that and then uh here the first point is we need to inject this global jquery method in a web pack and uh, secondly we can use the script tag also so i will use the script tag okay that's a easy method so uh, public and uh, index.html and here we can install the uh, normal jquery script so let's say sorry so jquery here we have Let's say CDN, right? And then we have a minified, and uh, here we have a jQuery code, right? And then we have we should have a script source, right? And after that, after injecting that, we need to copy these all things uh, in our detail page so front end source component uh, product detail and after this excuse right so our browser and all these things then what we are give here okay so here we need to do our browser and uh, where is the related products let's see so here we have a related products right so let's define here let's define in the root element our browser our theme uh, loop margin 10 and then we have a item so copy this paste here right and in this item we can do one thing we can map this right so map and then we have this okay now let's see what it is showing it is showing nothing let's remove or comment all these things right and then report map item what we have now let's see in the console mm, let's go to you jquery we have jquery okay let's do one thing uh, let's use this okay it should load then okay let's see why this is not working okay so we have implemented the owl carousel but uh, it is not showing here so what we are doing wrong so let's check this so first of all one thing that i'm missing we need to add return here not here here right now it is showing this right uh, and then one more thing when we are doing the owl carousel 
so we have a lot of option to setting this like how many items so first of all let's set the items so items equal to at a, at a time we will show five items right then here it is showing the five items but it is not showing the proper width because our carousal add its own width to the item so what we will do here in the single related product we will remove the we will remove this class we will remove this div right because owl gives the width according to the columns right so here you can see that and now it's showing the icons so let's remove the nav right so home no, sorry not home nav here we have a dot right okay now what else we do need let's add the okay so we have div item and we have this things now we need to do the same styling that we are doing on the product page so let's open the single product and we are doing the same styling so let's copy this and then we have <clears throat> so we will apply the sync image style here right now it's the same symmetry right but we don't have any image so that it is not showing okay this is fine right we have minimum uh, height width according to that and this is working now one more thing that we need to do we need to apply here add to cart functionality so in the related product we are not doing this so what we will do we can't just uh, fetch here the uh, single product because we don't want to implement this uh, div here right so what we will do we will copy all of this and paste here and just remove the just remove this one right here great okay so now we have uh, let's name it single related product single related product right so now we can add this so if i click here add it is working right and if i go to the again then it is showing this thing right so related product functionality is working but we are missing one thing i think related products mm, here related products let's define here this is our browser let's define h4 related products we will implement the empty tag here all right okay then we will add the class text center margin bottom to margin bottom to right text center okay so this is great but margin bottom to is properly not working let's define three okay this is great now so margin top let's say four all right let's define actually three little big font size increase okay so now this is related product these images are not coming because uh, we didn't add the images for this product 12 number so let's go to products and uh, let's say 12 number all right now we have to add images let's say this one 
this one and this one so save now i see here here you can see that okay so this is great everything is properly working now one more thing let's add here the uh, vendor link right so in the product detail page i hope you are understanding everything so in the product detail page what we need to do we are fetching the product detail let's see what we are getting here so if i go to network and uh, if i see this and if i go to the product detail response so we have vendor right so let's go to the serializer we need the vendor information all information so backend main serializer and let's go to product detail serializer and we have this vendor right but now we need to do one more thing representation so in the representation uh, we will do one thing sorry this one so we need to do vendor right and we will define vendor serializer instance vendor data right now let's see so if i re receive this response then it will show this thing right so vendor id and then user id we have okay so we will show the uh, vendor username and then we will give uh, the related link right so let's go to product detail and then we have a uh, uh, tags price after the price after the price we can show the vendor name right so we will show we can say seller vendor panel okay so we will say vendor okay and we will show the name link to equal to empty and then we will show here product data dot vendor dot user dot first name okay this is showing the vendor and then we will show the last name right so here last name so vendor name okay so vendor name we are showing here okay what we are doing wrong let's say hash all right this is working this is working so if i go to console product data vendor is undefined product data dot vendor is undefined okay let's define here vendor this one empty object now it will say vendor is undefined product data dot vendor product data dot vendor not here where is product data here is the product data product data dot vendor product data dot vendor let's see okay so let's understand this error so here we have a product detail and this is saying vendor is undefined so let's add a condition that if product dot data dot vendor then we will show the we will show this information right so here we have a vendor name now we need to link this right so from the single seller component i'll copy this one I'll copy the link and then to find here. So props dot props dot 
vendor dot user dot username oh sorry product data sorry and then we have here right so if i go here then it will show the vendor name total products great okay so our product detail is also completed correct so this part is also working related is also working and if you want to configure uh, more this owl clausal then you can check the option and they have the uh, beautiful documentation owl clausal and uh, you can they they are explaining what is this okay this one so you can go to docs and you can check this this is not a promotional video for the owl clausal but uh, this is uh, you know great uh, component great library for showing the product as a showing the things as a clausal right so thank you so much for watching the video and uh, please share subscribe like this video like this channel and if you need the source code of this project then you can go to github.com slash code artisan lab and you can check the repository right you can check this uh, multi vendor e-commerce repository so let me show you so this this first one right and then i have defined the steps here this is a you know like a support for me so you can give support and i will give you the access code of this project right and please uh, comment your other things if you want to implement in this e-commerce this is near to complete uh, in the next videos i will try to implement the razor pay payment gateway that is i think the main part pending and then we will see that what is pending and we will complete this complete that and then we can start the hotel management system and uh, i will upload the videos for that okay so thank you so much for watching the video please share subscribe like this channel thank you